Hello. In this lesson, we're going to factorize the algebraic expression. We begin with question A. We have 5x, which is a product of 5 and x. And we have 10, which is a product of 5 and 2. So you can see that 5 is a common factor of both terms. So 5 goes on the outside of the brackets. And 5 multiplied by x add 2 would give you... 5x plus 10 when you expand them out. For question B, we have 4y, which is a product of 4 and y, and 12, which is a product of 4 and 3. You can see that 4 is the highest common factor of both terms. So 4 goes on the outside, and we have y plus the 3 on the inside of the brackets. For question C, 7y can be written as 7 times y. 14t is written as 7 times 2 times t. And 21h is written as 7 times 3 times h. And we can see that 7 is the highest common factor of each term. So 7 goes on the outside of the brackets. And on the inside, we have y plus the 2 times t, or 2t plus the 3 times h, or 3h. In algebra, we don't write the time symbol because we can confuse it with x. For question d, we have w squared plus w. w squared can be written as w times w, and w can be written as itself multiplied by one. w is the highest common factor of both terms. So that goes on the other side of the bracket, and we have w times itself to make the w squared and multiply by 1 to make the w. And for question e, we have 6h squared plus 4h. We'll consider each in turn. So 6h squared and 4h. Well, 6h squared can be written as 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by h multiplied by h. And 4h can be written as the product of 2 and 2 and h. And you can see by writing these products out separately, 2 is a common factor, but so is h. So the highest common factor in this case is 2h. So 2h times 3h would make the 6h squared, and 2h times 2 would make the 4h. Thank you for watching, and I do hope you found that useful.